Hi everyone, Katie here with Spilling Paint. Today, well, I watched a uh, Ms. Kaduna video yesterday and she did this really cool Dutch pour that uh, I'm going to give a try, give it a try. I'm using a, different colors, but um, I'm going to do the a similar design that she did. Uh, she did it on two canvases, a, a triptych or something. I can't remember how it's, uh, I can't remember the word for it. I'm just going to do it on one. I was going to do it on two, but uh, the these are the smallest ones I have where I have more than one. <laughs> and I'm not going to be able to fit two on my table here to do that. I really need a bigger table. This thing is tiny. You might hear my toddler in the background. Sorry. <laughs> um, but today I'm going to be working with whoop, white. This is the Sax True Flow White. Yellow. This is um, a mix of several yellows. I have a ton of little tubes of yellow and I'm just trying to use them, do something with them. And I've got, this is a mix of a couple coppers. Woo, why are you wet? I don't know why there's water on the bottom of this. It's a mix of a couple different coppers. Um, uh, I think it's Montmartre and Liquitex Basics. I didn't have enough of each, so I mixed them up. This is a mix of Folk Art Metallic Christmas Green with black to darken it. And then I have the Montmartre Magenta. And give me a minute. There's something, there's water on my table for some reason. Alright. Not sure why it's wet there, but I just moved my bottles over here and got my rag out because I'm going to need it anyway and set it there. And I finally got this in. I'm excited to use it. Um, I, I hope it works as well as everyone says because this thing was what, almost $13. <laughs> which is uh, kind of uh, expensive for what it is. But it's supposed to work great for spreading the paint around. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to start... By laying out my yellow and I'm, I'm wanting this to be positioned this way uh, vertically but I couldn't get it all in frame so I'm gonna have to just plan around that and uh, I don't know if you can see that very well the consistency of my paints so this is the Dutch pour. I want it to flow off the stick and not make a mound. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with the yellow and go around to here, and the rest of it white. So let's let's give that a try. I feel like it'd be better if I put this in a smaller cup be easier to pour it and be in control of where it goes. So let's do that real quick. Alright. Start here. Yeah, land it like that. should be good. And the white. All 
All right. I'd say this works pretty well. I don't press so hard down on it. It's really thick over here. Well, not the paint's not thick, but there's a lot of it on the canvas. I try to get it spread out some more. for the white. Wipe that off and let's do the yellow. Almost done. Did you get over that corner? There we go. <laughs> okay. That should do it, just to get it spread around. Wipe this off. And set it aside. <clears throat> okay, so let me torch, woo, let me torch real quick. We're going to start with the green, I think. I'm just going to follow the line between the white and yellow. Alright, let's go magenta. You can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's very metallic-y, that green. magenta than that. Alright, that should do it. And now the copper. Okay. Now we need to put some yellow on this side. And if you saw my rainbow video, my rainbow Dutch pour video, you'll see I talk about your blowover color, which is what I just laid down. I'm about to lay down the white side. Um, 
the more you put down, the farther your paint will travel. So if you want it to travel a good distance, lay out more. If you don't want it to travel that far, don't lay out as much. Alright, let's torch. Have to get a little loud. Let's do this. Get more hair out. That one was actually my hair. This looks like cat hair. I need to go through and just clean out this room completely <laughs> and get rid of this cat hair. All right. Let's blow them out. Do I want to torch first? Yeah, let's torch first, then blow it out. cells coming up over there. Alright, let's get I had way too much paint on the white, especially the white. This got a bit mixed up here. Hmm. Do I want to scrape this off and redo it? I think I do. So. I'm just going to, where's that at? I'm not going to worry about spreading those right now.
So I'm gonna be blocking the view a little bit here. Alright, I like it. Um, I'm not usually a fan of yellow, um, but I like this. I kind of lost all the copper. Maybe it'll show up more when it dries. Um, but that green and magenta I think look, looks awesome. And I'd love to do this over two canvases so I have more room to get creative. Lots of really cool cells through here. I am going to torch it. Let's torch it real quick. Maybe I'll get some cool cells coming up. Yeah, I like that. I want to also do one with black and white. You know, black being the 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 sides and everything, white being the predominant. If that makes sense. But yeah, I think I might I might do one of those today. We'll see. Um, if so, I'll just add it to this video and make one video. Oh, I bumped the camera. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to blow this out a little more. Yeah, that's better. Get some of that magenta out so it's not just green there. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. I'll take you in for a closer view real quick. These are the cool cells up here. You can really see that green um, metallic. Well, that's it for now. I will have a link in the description for Rin Rinska Duna. I, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> uh, she does some amazing work. I love watching her do her Dutch pours. She is my go-to for Dutch pour inspiration. Uh, I will have a link for her and if you don't already follow her or subscribe to her channel, do it. She posts some amazingly gorgeous stuff. Love her work. But I will also have my Facebook link in the description. If you could check that out. And please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye.